Welcome one and welcome all. I am Technivorous and today is a very special day. Today we're going to be taking an introductory look at Kira 5.0 with its all new engine. The software is still in beta but already it's a big step in the right direction for desktop printing so we're going to talk about why but before we get into the details I need you to reduce the Z offset on that subscribe button and give that notification bell a good first layer squish. That way you don't miss any of the great 3D printing and tech videos I have coming in the next few weeks. Somewhere before the end of this video, we're going to be announcing the giveaway of a Beagle camera system. This thing plugs into your printer and lets you control it from your browser or your phone. So kind of like Octopi, except it's way easier to get a high quality time lapse like this one. So stick around until the end to find out more about Beagle and how you can win. Now for the reason you're here. Presenting Kira 5.0 in all its glory. If you're familiar with Kira, the new version will, of course, look familiar to you. Not too much has changed visually, although they have added a fancy new splash screen and updated the icon. It's a nice little bonus, but why all the hype about yet another version of Kira? Well, while on the outside it may look and feel the same, the underlying engine it runs on is a whole different beast entirely. Not only does the new pathing lead to better, more accurate models, but the prints are faster too, thanks to Kira 5's ability to literally cut corners. So take a look at this. This is the corner of a slice in Kira 4, whatever, and here's the same model in 5.0. So you notice the right angles are gone. The accuracy is improved and the model prints faster simply by rounding off edges that are so small you can't even tell, among other brilliant pathing upgrades in the new engine. So some of the settings have moved, so I just wanted to show you a few that are important to the new engine. So let's take a look under walls. This is one of the settings near the top, and it used to be called shell in previous versions. This engine uses what's called a variable line width strategy, and this mean it means it affects mostly the walls and their width. Remember the setting print thin walls? Well, it's still there, and if you click it, you get a few more settings you will find useful for improving model detail with the new engine. So, how does this all work? Well, let's say you have a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, and you set your line width to 0.4 millimeters and go about your way. Okay, well that's all well and good if everything you print has a thickness divisible by 0.4, but what if your walls are 1.5 millimeters thick? What happens to the difference is where this engine shines. So instead of trying to divide 1.5 millimeters by 0.4 millimeters, it'll just divide it by 0.35 and extrude five lines to cover the same width. Now, I'm oversimplifying this a little bit because a lot of other settings come into play, but this is basically the gist of it. And what this means is, by extruding extra lines slightly thinner or thicker than the nozzle diameter, Kira is able to print the same model more accurately and with less moves. If you're interested in seeing some accuracy testing I did comparing the engines, check out this video. If you're still here to find out how to win the Beagle Cam, well, you're in luck because the time is now. So here's how it works. All you have to do is subscribe and hit the like button, then leave a comment. Not just any comment, I'm looking for a particular phrase I uttered in one of my prior videos. If you can find it and you post it in the comments of this video, you win the camera. So here's a hint to help you find the phrase. The video title is a parody of a TV show that was recently rebooted. We're talking in the last couple months. The phrase that wins contains the word upside down. Words, excuse me. The words upside down. So you're going to need the whole phrase containing the words upside down from a video of mine whose title is a parody of a TV show. You got it? Okay, good luck, and don't forget, I've got some videos on the Beagle Cam coming in the next week or two, so be on the lookout to find out more about what you can do with it and what you're in for with this thing, because it's pretty sweet. That's it for this one, guys. Technivorous out.